Hey guys, welcome to the 36th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Stream Reader class. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a text box. And once you have those on your form, just go ahead and double click on the button. Now, before we can create an instance of our Stream Reader class, we're first going to want to have to access that namespace that the Stream Reader is in. And the Stream Reader is in the system.io namespace. So in order to access that, we're going to want to use a using statement up here, and just do system.io. So now we can access everything inside of this uh, system.io namespace. But before we're going to create an instance of our stream reader, we're first going to want to create an instance of an open file dialog and have that open file dialog be shown so that the user can specify which file that they want to be read. So we're just going to do open file dialog or D new file dialog. And if you... Um, uh, don't know what an open file dialog is, just go back and watch my uh, 34th C Sharp tutorial because in that tutorial I uh, explain how to use an open file dialog and basically what it is. Alright, so once you have this code typed out here, we can now create an instance of our stream reader. So to do that, you're just going to want to type out stream reader sr for stream reader and just set it equal to a new stream reader. And right here, it calls for a stream. So in order to um, create a stream, we're just going to want to do file, dot, and then open read. Because we're just going to be reading the file. And it says right there, opens an existing file for read. Yeah, opens an existing file for reading. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be reading the file. And now inside of here, it calls for a path. And we now need a path to the file that we want to read. And since we're using this open file dialog right here, we can just do ofd.filename, use the file name property in the open file dialog class to access that file. And I explain a little bit more in depth of what this file name property is in the 34th C Sharp tutorial. So now that we have that all set, we can now read the file. And the first method that we're going to be looking at is the read to end method. And it says right here, read the stream from the current position to the end of the stream. And since we haven't specified a position, it will just um, defaultly start at the beginning. And for text files, what this will do is it will read all the text inside of the text file. So we're going to have it read all the text from the text file into our text box. And I already have a text file set up for reading, and the contents of this text file is just high, period. So now if we go ahead and debug here, use our open file dialog to navigate to our text file, open the text file, we should just get, yeah, hi in this message box right here. If we were to change the, the contents of this text file to, mm, change it to hello, I am Adam, save it, then reopen this program and read it, we should get, hello, my name is Adam, or hello, I am Adam. That's what I wrote it as. So now, the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to use the close, um, or how to, use, how to dispose of the stream reader. So you're just going to want to do sr.dispose. And basically what this will do is it will close the file. So if we were to try to create another instance of stream reader without this dispose and then read the same file, we would get an error saying this file is already being used by another process. So get in the habit of disposing of your streams whenever you're using them. So this way you'll never get that error. Now this uh, read to end method is all great for text files, but what does it actually do? Well, in order to view what it actually does, you're going to have to download a program called HXD Hex Editor. And in order to do that, just go on Google and type in HXD. And just go ahead and click the first link. And then scroll down until you see the download page link. Just click that. And scroll down until you see your language, which should be English. And I don't see it, but oh, yep, there it is. So yeah, just go ahead and download it. And then once you have it downloaded, just open it up and then I'm just going to open up the uh, text file right here um, my text file and right over to the right right here is what the text file or what this read to end reads 
So as you can see for text files, it's just the contents of the text file. And if we were to change this to something like different right here, like, uh, I don't know, um, just hello, and then, oh, I guess it already was that. Well, if we were to just like type in a whole bunch of crap right here and save it, and then reopen that text file up, we should get all that crap that we just typed. Yep, there's all those letters. Now, like I said before, this is this is only for text files. If we were to open like an exe or something, or pretty much any other file type, it's not going to read it um, how we'd expect. Like if we were to open up this exe right here, it just it's just a whole bunch of crap, and none of this is really useful to us. I'll talk about what this is on this side in the next tutorial. But yeah, this read to end will just read all of this information on the right side over here. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're still going to be using the stream reader. We're just going to be looking into reading bytes. So, see you guys.